Hey, Coop here. Welcome to 90 Second Recap, where I share a quick sports history lesson based on today's camp. It's May 13th, and I'm wearing an Indianapolis Indians New Era 5950 purchased from Fanatics. We're talking auto racing today because on this date in 1950, the very first Grand Prix of the Formula One World Championship was held in Great Britain, at Silverstone, of course. The former RAF airfield was alive with Fs that day as Giuseppe Farina, Luigi Fagioli, and Juan Manuel Fangio qualified their Alfa Romeos in the top three spots. The only reigning monarch to ever take in a British motor race, King George VI was there with Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother and Princess Margaret in tow to watch the festivities from the royal uh, box. Farina took the checkers that day, one of his three wins that initial season. Fangio also won three races, with Farina taking the championship on points and Fagioli coming third. An interesting side note is that the 500 was one of the seven races on the F1 championship docket that year, and for the following decade, which was intended to foster transatlantic competition and cooperation. It didn't work. In fact, it failed miserably, with none of the drivers from Europe coming over to compete at the Brickyard, nor did any of the Americans head across the pond. Given that the U.S. specs were different from the European ones, can you blame anyone? However, since Indy was a points-paying race in the World Championship, 500 winner Johnny Parsons' points haul meant that he'd finished sixth in the overall F1 standings, despite running just a single contest.